Hi, my name is Caroline, I'm the Ethan Family's worker here at Literature Mission and every Wednesday I'm making little craft videos for you guys to do at home. They're based on what Junior Church are looking at on Sundays and this Sunday at Junior Church Zoom we started looking at Genesis. So Genesis begins by telling us how the world was made and how God made it step by step over six days and on the seventh day he rested. And when he's finished making the world he looks at it and he says that it's good. And amongst everything God made he made the first man Adam and the first woman Eve and they lived together in a place called the Garden of Eden. And the Garden of Eden was perfect. There was no sin or bad stuff in the world yet. And the Bible tells us that God walks amongst the garden with them. Um, so that's kind of cool. Adam and Eve got to walk around with God. They got to chat with God. They had a friendship and a relationship with God, which was really, really close. And on Sunday, Junior Church, we thought about it as being, they were like this, they were close. But God gave them one rule for this garden so they could live there and carry on being happy. And that was that they could eat the fruit of any of the trees except for one particular tree. And God said if they ate the fruit from that tree, they would die. And one day Eve and Adam are in the garden and a serpent comes up to them, a snake comes and speaks to them. And he makes them think, he goes, did God really say that? And Adam and Eve get a bit confused and basically the, the snake tempts them and he says, actually, God's not telling the truth. If you eat that fruit, you'll become like God and God doesn't want that to happen. So the snake leaves Adam and Eve with a choice. They can either listen to God, trust God and obey what God told them to do, or they can listen to the serpent, they can doubt God and they can disobey God. And Adam and Eve chose to disobey God. They ate the fruit of the tree that God told them not to. And that was the first time someone had disobeyed God. And that was the first sin. That was the first bad thing that entered the world. And once they eat the fruit, they hear God in the garden. And normally they would be like this. They would be happy to see God. But the Bible tells us that what they did was they went and hid. They hid behind a tree. So that relationship, which was once like this, is now apart because sin has got in the middle. And... At Junior Church we thought this was really sad because they had that close relationship with God and then it was ruined because they disobeyed him. And God has to punish them, he makes them leave the garden because they're no longer perfect and they can't be in a perfect garden. But at Junior Church we remembered that this story does have a happy ending because years and years and years and years and years later God would send his son to die to take the punishment for our sins so that now, if we ask, we can be forgiven for our sins and our relationship with God can go from being like this, apart, to being like this, together, because Jesus takes away the sin that's in the middle. So we can be friends with God, just like Adam and Eve were right at the beginning. And one day when we die, we'll, be, we'll rise again, just like Jesus rose again on the third day. And then we'll be able to live with God and be happy and um, we'll hang out with God and it will be really cool and we'll experience this relationship just like Adam and Eve did but on a whole other level. And so even though it can seem like a sad story which has punishment in it, it's actually a really happy story because we get to remember that God loves us so much and he's so full of mercy and grace that he chose to come and rescue us from that punishment himself so that we can be friends with God. So that's what today's craft is all about and this is what we're going to be making. So here we've got Adam and Eve in the garden and they're hiding behind the tree because they've heard God in the garden. So this reminds us what our natural response is when we do naughty things or do bad things is that we can hide and we can try and keep it from God. And it reminds us that when we do bad things, our relationship with God isn't like this anymore. But it helps us to remember that thanks to Jesus, we can come to God, we can ask for forgiveness and our relationship can be like this with God again. So that's today's craft and I'll go ahead and show you how to make it. So the first thing you need to do is download and print the PDF or draw your own copy of the PDF, which I'll link in the middle of the screen and down below. And once you've drawn your own copy or printed it out, you should have something that looks like this. So here we've got the tree, the Bible verse and Adam and Eve. And once you've printed it out, colour it in and cut them out. So you should have these. And the next step is we need to stick the Bible verse onto the tree. So I'm using double sided sticky tape. So you just quickly peel off the tape and stick it in the middle of the tree, like that. And then we don't need these straight away, so we're gonna put them all to one side. The next thing you need is a toilet roll holder or half a kitchen roll holder. 
and we're going to cut it in different places. So I've drawn big lines where you need to cut them and how deep you need to cut them. So the top two are like this, they're not that deep and they're basically opposite each other. And then the bottom two are a lot deeper and they are not so opposite each other, they're closer to each other. But they should be used to fit Adam and Eve, so you see how that one's the same length as Eve. And that one is the same length as Adam there. And then the next thing you do is you slot each of them in. But because that's a bit fiddly, I'll go ahead and do that off camera and show you what it looks like when it's finished. So here's what today's craft looks like when it's finished. It can be a bit fiddly to get these guys to slit into the right places, but if you're patient and you just keep going, it'll work out and it'll be fine and it'll stand up right and it'll be good. And yeah, so we've got the tree and we've got Adam and Eve hiding behind the tree. And that's today's craft. I hope you enjoyed making today's craft and I will see you next week with a new craft. And don't forget to send us pictures of your crafts so that we can show the rest of the church what you guys have been making on Sunday. Bye.